Cop Brothers at Law, it's Shut the F*** Up Friday. Of course, we review the script. What do you say when the cops first pull you over? Why'd you pull me over? And when they ask questions? I'm not discussing my day. And they keep asking questions? Am I being detained or am I free to go, sir? And if detained, what do you say? I invoke the fifth. And then what do you do? I shut the f*** up. See this right here? This was saved because my clients listened to us. They didn't consent to a search that was warrantless. And this is what we get to do now to celebrate. How'd they ever puff puff pass the bar exam? <laughs> Obviously, it didn't involve a pee test. The dankest lawyers in the game are the Wassermans, better known in smoking circles as the Pot Brothers at Law. If you're stupid enough to get arrested for smoking weed in a state where smoking weed is legal, you deserve to be represented by someone who's seen the Big Lebowski 300 times. They're like Rudy Giuliani. If they're your lawyers, there's a 100% chance you're guilty. They got Instagram famous for making videos that teach a simple nug of legal advice. Shut the f*** up. It's super effective, except for the part where it requires potheads to remember stuff. If a cop tries to pull you over, I recommend you calmly scream out your window, I'm white, even if you're not. Then put your blinker on like you're about to pull over and slowly drive to Mexico. The only lawyers I need are my cousin Vinny and Aaron Brockovich. Object to these, you pussies. But since all my viewers are high right now, I legal zoom the Pop Brothers to Hollywood, where all my viewers are high right now. Wait, didn't you just say that? No, you're being paranoid. And this week's Celebrity Profile. Daniel, shut what? the f up. They're listening, man. Right. Hey, aren't you a little old to be in college? Oh, there's no law that says you have to be in college to live in the dorm. Yeah, I think there is. Tell that to the 500 grand I paid to be the RA. Sit down. <laughs> are you guys actual brothers? We are, yes, actually brothers. We're both actually attorneys, and we both actually smoke pot. Pop Brothers at Law here with a little bit about DUI. <laughs> is that something that you want your lawyers? to be stoners? When you say stoners, we're trying to change that image. Okay. We want people to think stoner, businessman, attorney, doctor. You're always staggered in your videos. Why is that? Well, that's just kind of how it worked out when we first started Instagram. Standing next didn't work and it just kind of worked out like that. It's shut the f up Friday. Shut the f up, shut the f up. Shut, shut the f up. Shut shut the uh -huh. And shut up. You recommend the same thing across the board? We say it works for everybody. If you get arrested, it's going to help you. It may help you not. Hold on. I got a customer. Hey, can I score some weed? Shut the f up. Here. Oh, well, when did you guys start working together? After Henry died. Well, I don't want to bring up Henry. <laughs> no, it really started when my son wanted to be in the cannabis business. Your website clearly caters to stoners because it looks like the cover of Ben and Jerry's. We decided that we didn't care what people thought. I'm not going to change how I dress or what I do. Or change the font on your website right. to be less cartoony. Do you always wear sunglasses inside? People you know, yeah. <laughs> love it. My I like, I'm gonna be honest with you, the sunglasses are like the Everybody 14th loves his most crazy thing about <laughs> this whole look. Now, has the legalization of marijuana negatively affected your business? Absolutely not. Oh, okay. No. Because it's not really legal. Under 28 grams, it's legal. Over 28 grams, you could be going to jail for up to a year. Now, would you guys be for legalizing all drugs? Yes. I think so. That's right where I'm at. Guys, be cool. The captain of the football team is here. Tosh, you got some weed for me? Shut the f up. Yes, here. Good luck this weekend. <gasps> you haven't always been an attorney. No. Before that, I, you were in show business. I was. Your IMDb page is a mile long. I've done quite a few things in my day. You were in Showgirls 2. Follow-up oh, yes. question. There yes. was a Showgirls there 2. There was. We're filming on the studio pictures back lot in Hollywood. You're on the Wonder Years? That's a good one. I wasn't on the Wonder Years. I delivered and picked up film and dailies to the Wonder Years set. There was a time that you were a little more loaded, filming yourself just drinking away. That was a movie called Falling Down, separate from the Michael Douglas Falling Down. I actually gained 50 pounds for the You part. gained it for the role. I gained it for I the role. I thought this was home I movies that no, I was no, watching of no, you no. in a bar just drinking by yourself. No. 
Why are rappers such big fans? We're with Too Short and KB. We have an amazing guest for you, Mr. Two Chains. How you doing, sir? While we were coming up on social media, we went to the High Times Cannabis uh -huh. Cup and Chalice, and we were trying to educate people back then how to do things properly and how to protect themselves. Be honest, that really wasn't McConaughey in that video. That it really was. was. Moondog, what do you do? Shut the f up. There is no scenario where he shuts the f up. <laughs> I saw you guys outside, and somehow you made the entire parking lot reek of weed, and that's impressive. Well, that was our medication. I don't know that it was you. I no, just no, 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 saw it was you us. Guys. It was okay, us. Okay, We're okay. happy okay. to say. We are way out of the green closet. Got gotcha. you. Sorry. It's the dean. Hi, I'd like some. Shut the f up. Marijuana. Yes. <laughs> Where'd you go to school? Western State University College of Law. Does the bar need to be uh, raised? Is it yes. too easy? <laughs> Who's the worst person you've ever represented? I mean, obviously you can't say exactly who the person is. Oh, yeah. He was a scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> but he still has rights. Scumbags have rights. Of course they Scumbags do. Scumbags have rights. What percentage of cops do you think are bad? I would say it's a smaller percentage. If you look at most of these videos where people getting tased and stuff, well, some of it's completely out of line. It could have been prevented by the guy just not being a dick. He says, get out of the car. You follow his directions. Have you ever thought of coming up with scripts like shut the f up Friday for other crimes? Like for murder? It's for everything. It's for everything. Am I under arrest or do I have time to move this body? Asking am I under arrest? Good. Okay. The rest of it, don't say it. What about prostitution? Am I under arrest or can I finish this guy off? <laughs> well, so long as there wasn't an actual contract for sex. And no money exchanged, finish Then him off. you can finish him off. You know, maybe it was two consenting adults. Finish away. Police, open up. What's going on here, guys? Having a little party? I'm not discussing my day. I'm not discussing my day. We have reason to believe you've been distributing marijuana. Am I being detained? Am I, I being detained or am I free to go? Do we have permission to search the premises? Shut the f up. Shut the f up. No. Shut the f up. No. What'd you just say to me? Shut the f up. You don't tell us to shut the f up. We're the cops. Yeah. <laughs> It could have been worse. We almost did a Bird Box 2 parody.